Okay, so we're going to learn how to make a landing page. So inside of the website, you would create a page and name it whatever, and we're going to be using the Divi Builder. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to say template blank page. And what that does is it takes off the header and the footer from the page because a landing page should not have any additional distractions. So the first thing that we're going to do is you would insert your column and then let's say that you just want to add your text over here so you would add your text this is my text um you know you would i would recommend you have a headline a um like a sub heading and three to five bullet points and then you um add your opt-in form below so save that and then add another for um, another one another module and you would go to code and what you would need to do is go inside of active campaign and grab the code so let me pause this video and go grab or go sign into active campaign and show you where to grab that okay so inside of active campaign i am under the subheading forms and as you can see this is all laid out the way that i want it to be laid out if i wanted it to be side by side then you would just um, change the style of it and um, but for this one for landing pages for some reason i like them to be like this it just um it fills out a little bit better and usually what's happening is i want the content to be more narrow so in that case this type of form is more perfect if i wanted it to be horizontal then the other type of form would be um, the best one so after you style the form however you want it to look and you set up the options because right here you want to tell it you know after they subscribe where do you want them to go do you want them to go to a thank you page specifically that you made or like in this case i had everybody going to my facebook group so i really need to get in here and update all of my stuff um, in active campaign because it is so out of date anyways you would update that and you tell it what list you want it to go to and then you would click integrate and um, so there's a few ways that you can do this you can do the simple embed which is what i like to do because if i come back and i make any changes then it automatically updates so now i'm going to go back to wordpress i'm going to go into that code module and i'm just going to paste this right here and let's say that you have a video or something that you want to put on the other side. So all you would do is just insert module and then maybe you have a video and you would just grab the link to the video. Like let's say that it's something that's on YouTube, you grab the link and put it right here. Or if it was an image that you wanted to add, you know, something pretty compelling, then you would just add the image module instead so that way it has a little bit of a visual appeal just by you uploading you know the image next to it so let's i'm just going to use this one and then i'm going to save and exit and now i want to preview it and obviously it's not going to look beautiful because um because I didn't really set this up for anything. But basically, if there was a subheading, you know, there would be my main text right here. Like maybe this is a picture of my freebie. Then I would have my text, my subheading, my three bullets. And then right next to that or underneath it, I would have my opt-in form right there. So it is a few steps, but it's not a challenging um, process. And it'll save you some money because you don't really need to, um, you know, pay for those fancy, fancy, um, 
I don't know what to call them, emails, you know, form generators when you can, especially with Divi, you can just add a form very easily. Now you would need to go back in here and add a footer in here. So you would, you could do any, either one. So you could just set up a footer because you need to have your privacy policy visible. So we just create a mock footer by adding text and then you would add your you know your information right here at the footer like 2017 the name of your website privacy and a link to the privacy policy and then what i like to do is save it and add it to the library and when you do this you want to make it a global item so you could say landing page footer make it a global item and then when you create future landing pages you can reuse this um this landing page footer over and over and if you but you do have to remember that if you make a change to one of these global items it changes on all of the pages so that's actually a plus but it can also be um, a negative if you only want it to be applicable for one page so just keep that in mind when it comes to making changes um, let me know if you have any questions and have a great day